Welcome back to our Jest. Today's question is leaked code 338, counting bits. So you're given an integer n, return an array answer of length n plus 1, such that each i, where i is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to n, answer i is the number of 1s in the binary representation of i. So we have n equal to 2. The binary representation of each value, 0 up to 2, is as such. So we need an array as our output. The 1s in the binary representation of 0 is equal to 0, right? There are no ones within this binary representation. In one, we only have one bit. And in two, we also have one. So we're looking for the ones in the binary representation of the values from zero all the way up to and including n. And we need to return an array as the output. Now, what would happen in the case where we have n equal to eight? Well, let's have a look at that. So here we have the binary representation of all values from zero up to and including n. And if we pay close attention to the two least significant bits, we have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Once we reach this point, as you can see, they repeat. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then they would repeat again over and over. So what is changing between each of these? Well, we're updating the most significant bit. So let's briefly discuss what the most significant bit is. So we have a most significant bit here, 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 and here. So what is changing between each of these values? when the most significant bit is updated? Well, it's changing by a factor of two. And that makes sense, right? Because a bit is a power of two, essentially. So if we start at zero, right? There are no ones within this section. However, when we move to one, we have one bit. So it's going to be one plus, and we could assume that's plus the previous answer, which would suggest using DP, right? So if you make a DP array, from zero up to and including eight, this DP array is going to be the representation of all the ones within the binary representation of each value from zero up to and including n. We can initialize zeroth index to zero because we know that there are no ones within the binary representation of zero. And now we can try and work out our optimal substructure. So if we do one plus DP of i minus one, this will give us the correct answer for one. So we can update our DP array at index of one. However, if we use this for the value of two, we're going to get two, right? But we only have one, one. So this cannot work. So let's think about this. The only thing that has changed is the position of this one. So we've updated the most significant bit. And we said when we update the most significant bit, we times by a factor of two. So if we initially have a variable called most significant bit, actually we'll call it offset. If this is set to one, when we change the most significant bit then, or when we change this offset, we need to update this value. So if we times that by two to give us the new offset or the most significant bit, then in order to get a bit of one using dynamic programming, we need to add the value from DP of zero. So one way of doing that would be to take the index that we're on, which is two, minus the offset, which will give us one. And like we said, this optimal substructure is wrong. So let's implement this. So at position one, if we do DP of the index we're on minus the offset of this position, or like we said, the offset was one to begin with. I at this position is one. It's going to be one plus DP of zero. That works out. So that's going to give us one. Let's see if it works out with three. So it's going to be one plus DP of three minus the offset. So that's going to be DP of one. So one plus the DP of one is one plus one, which is equal to two. So now we're at the value of four. So we're in the DP array, we're at index four. We can look at the binary representation. What's happened here? Well, we've updated the most significant bit. And how can we check for this update? Well, we said a bit is a power of two. So if we get the current offset, we times it by two. If this is equal to the current index we're on, then we've updated the most significant bit. So we have to update the offset and the offset will equal the current index run. So we can update that to four. Now, by using this optimal substructure of dpi minus offset, there'll be one plus dp of four. So the index minus the offset of four. And this is going to give us the correct number of ones within this binary representation. And then we can repeat the process. And then for eight, we make the check. So we look to see whether four times two is equal to this index of eight. It is. So we update this offset to equal the index, and then we add it to the optimal substructure we created, which is eight minus the offset, which is going to be one. Add that in there. And then we can return this 
dp array as our output. And this is how we'd calculate the solution of counting bits in on time complexity. Let's first create the dp array. It's going to be n plus 1. And we need to fill it with zeros, right? Because we initially need to set the index of 0 to 0. And the easiest way of doing that is to fill all values to 0. We need the variable offset, which is going to be the most significant bit. Then we need to create the loop. So i is going to be equal to 1 because we set the base case for index of 0 where it's equal to 0. i is less than or equal to n because we want to include the last value. So within this, the first thing we do is check to see whether we've updated the most significant bit. So it's going to be offset times 2. If that is equal to the current index we're on, then the most significant bit has been updated. So we need to update the offset to equal the index we're on. Then we can write out the optimal substructure. So dpi is equal to 1 plus dpi minus offset. And all we need to do is return dp, and this should work. Submit it. And there you go. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.